And when it comes to select input, essentially it's a list of options. So normally you'll have some kind of list again. Typically it's going to be dynamic, so it's going to be coming from the API. And you want to render them inside of the select input, and you'll set them up as option element and then in state there's going to be that one value that represents whatever the user has selected so first we need to create a state value and here just be careful because i named the state value framework and the list is frameworks and you don't want to mix them basically when we want to display the options, we want to iterate over frameworks, but when we want to provide the value, we want to look for framework. And I'll remind you that once we get there. So framework, and that is going to be equal to set framework. So let me copy and paste, and I just want to change it to a uppercase. And as far as the default value, this is totally up to you. I'm going to go with React since that's the first item here in this list. But of course, you can set any of these values. Let's also create the function because we'll need it. So for now, copy and paste so we can speed this up. We won't actually use the checked one. So of course, I can remove. We won't set up the logic for now. We'll simply go with handle and then let's call this frame work. Let's save that. And after that, we want to set up the select input where we have the label for the framework. So let's go here with select. Again, Emmet is going to spit right away name and ID. So we might as well provide those values. So in here, let's just write framework. So again, this is very important. We are now referencing the state value, not the list. We'll work with the list in a second. So set it equal to framework. And as far as the options this is where we want to iterate over the list so first let's display them and then we'll add the value as well as the on change so let's start over here we effectively want to iterate over the framework so we set up here the curlies we go with frameworks then dot map so we're mapping over and then as far as the value i'm going to reference this as a framework framework and as far as the return we want to go with keyword and then we're looking for the option then since we have a list yes we still need to provide the key and in this case we don't have the id however those names are unique so i'm going to go with framework so essentially i'm referencing the parameter and then inside of the option this is where i want to showcase one of those options so let me save and notice that everything is correct however nothing is going to happen so essentially, yes, we're changing this, but if we navigate to the big screen, you'll see that I'm not changing that state value because we haven't set up the logic yet. So technically this is view, but of course in the state, I still have the React. And it's very similar to typical input. So we don't need to go here with checked. That was only for the checkbox. Again, we go with value. We go with framework very, very important, not frameworks, but framework. And as far as the on change, well, we want to provide our handle framework, correct? Let's provide this function. And as far as the functionality, we simply want to go with set framework, and it's going to be located again, in event dot target value. So if you're wondering, can we pass directly the arrow function like we have been doing yes absolutely i just thought since we have handle shipping here we might as well set up another one so we go with framework and then we look for event dot target and then the value let's save that and now if i navigate to the big screen we should see that we're also successfully changing the state value so that's how we can work with checkboxes as well as select inputs in react